We eat every day. Food is the source of our energy. And we need energy to work, think, grow and interact. How can we investigate digestion? The digestive processes in our body are complex and hard to follow in real life. Is there a way to shed light on this complex process inside the body? That was the central question at TNO and led to the creation of the in vitro dynamic gastrointestinal model. We've called it TIM. TIM is a simulation of the complete digestive system through a combination of engineering, chemicals, enzymes, bacteria and dedicated software. The TIM has been divided into two systems. TIM1 and TIM2. And most important, we gain insights in what, how and to what extent nutrients, but also pharmaceutical compounds, become available for absorption. Both models can be adjusted to simulate the digestive system of a child. Let's focus on the meal just consumed by our family. Tim 1 Here we see the stomach and the small intestine divided into three parts. Left and right of the small intestine we can see the dialysis systems removing nutrients to mimic the real-life situation. At all stages we are able to take samples to investigate their composition. When food enters the stomach it is mixed with gastric acid, lipase and pepsin. It is pushed forward and backward to simulate the mixing movements of the stomach. When we zoom in, we can see what happens to our meal. Most bacteria from our yoghurt will disintegrate and not survive the stomach due to its acidity. A large part of the proteins is unfolded and broken down into smaller peptides by the pepsin. After ingestion, the food gradually leaves the stomach towards the small intestine. The small intestine in TIM1 consists of three separate compartments. The duodenum, the jejunum and the ileum. In the first part of the small intestine, the duodenum, bicarbonate is secreted to neutralize the pH value. Bile is secreted to emulsify fat. Pancreatic enzymes are secreted that digest fat, carbohydrates and proteins. Again, a part of the bacteria of the yogurt do not survive the bile. Fibres from our cereals are attacked by enzymes but are not fully broken down and remain partially intact. Enzymes are further breaking down the proteins, carbohydrates and fat into smaller molecules, small enough to be available for absorption through the gut wall and later into the bloodstream. Next to the jejunum and ileum, membrane units remove the digested nutrients continuously. It is this unique membrane system of the TIM1 that ensures that digested elements are removed, which can then be analysed, but also that the activity of luminal enzymes is not inhibited by their own products. This all ensures a dynamic environment, just like that found in the human body. At the end of TIM1, the non-digested components are collected for further analysis, and also as input for TIM2. The TIM2 represents the large intestine, or the colon. This part of the intestine contains a high density of many bacterial species, the microbiota. These bacteria play a crucial role in the further digestion of the undigested materials from the small intestine. Here, probiotics play an important role to keep a healthy balance in the large intestine. And here in TIM2, we can measure the interaction of fibre and microbiota. And at all stages, samples can be taken to investigate their composition. Let's take a closer look inside TIM2. Water is absorbed. Colon bacteria metabolize residuals of the food. The variety of bacteria here is enormous. In the TIM2, the effect of food and medicine on the composition of bacterial species can be monitored during every step of the way. We now observe the working of the unique filtering system, mimicking the uptake of substances through the wall of the large intestine. Small molecules, such as the short-chain fatty acids, are filtered out to be measured and to prevent inhibition. We have shown you an active model of the human digestive system within a laboratory setup. We can perform research on how, 
where and when food becomes available for absorption in our body. This model can help you to accelerate your research. As we've seen, survival of probiotics, the effects of fibres from our cereals, actual nutritional values from the meal we took, but also the digestibility of novel components and mixtures, the behaviour of micronutrients such as minerals and vitamins. At TNO Triskelion, we are proud that we can contribute to further research on how to improve our health and our lives.